Good morning, everyone. Only it's good evening, everyone. <laughs> this is Merle Singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker. And this is This Evening with Merle's Pearls. You know, I actually I had an anniversary on Saturday. I've definitely been married a couple of years, more than 50 years. I want to know something about relationship by now. I mean, I'm married to the same man <laughs> and happily. Our topic for tonight is very interesting. I'm sure you will find it interesting. It's, um, I, 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 you know, I don't have the exact words here. I have the exact words right here. Oh, I had this discussion with my husband at dinner today. My topic is he's cheating on me. Now what? We could turn that around, by the way, and we could say she's cheating on me. Now what? I usually start from the female perspective and kind of expand from there. And it was interesting to talk to my husband to get the male perspective because I don't know if you can figure out. I was quite surprised to see his reaction. His first reaction was he didn't like the word cheating. And it took us a while to dig through what it was he didn't like. And it turns out he didn't like the word cheating because it has a, um, it has a judgment. It's a, cheating is like, um, you say you're going to give 50 cents change and you give 45 cents change. That's cheating. And he didn't like that judgment put on having a, a, a extramarital relationship because there are people that do choose to do threesomes, foursomes. There are multiple marriages. So there's that. And so the word cheating we concluded, or I concluded, I'm not sure which, was that it's going outside the contract that the two people agreed on. So, I mean, if you agreed to have multiple partners, then there's no issue. It's, it isn't cheating. Um, it's not outside the marriage contract. It, it may have its issues with legalities and things, but, uh, it's what you've both agreed on. But cheating is when it's an extramarital relationship that wasn't agreed on. And that, oh, and, and that's, that doesn't make it obvious either. I mean, there are uh, possibilities of times in a marriage where, um, let's say, let's say a partner, male or female, you know, the husband or wife, or, or the gay couple, whatever, one of them has Alzheimer's. Uh, irrevocable. I mean, that's not, that's not, I'm really, really sick, but I'll get over it and be good, you know, be healthy again. That's like a downward slope. And, and at a certain time, uh, an Alzheimer's patient has, is totally non compassmentous So what about then? What about, somebody else coming into your life to just to share some of the burden and some people would say no and some people would say i don't know i'm one of the i don't knows it's it's how it fits in to your belief system it's how it fits into your circumstances but i could see that it might be kind of okay uh, for someone married to be having an extramarital relationship. But what about the other times? What about when it's uh, you and me and people who are totally compass mentis, totally know what's going on, and our partner uh, cheats on us or we cheat on our partner? Well, what do you think about that, Miss miracle worker hmm what do i think about that well i don't think you should do it to me <laughs> let's start there <laughs> um I, I 
never think it's good to have um, extramarital relationships within the rela un unagreed to extramarital relationships in a marriage or partnership, whatever relationship. Um, but I don't think you can also, I don't think you can just say, okay, the person that did it, boom, he's out. Goodbye. The marriage is over. That may be appropriate. And, and maybe it's not, I, you have to dig further. Sometimes, sometimes the cheating is um is brought on by behavior of of the existing partner is there something that you're doing is there needs that you're not meeting are you not being um uh, focused or caring or compassionate or loving with your partner because if you're not he's or she is going to look elsewhere i think of course that you shouldn't look elsewhere I think instead you should look within the marriage and say, hey, what's this? I'm tempted to go outside the marriage because I'm not getting enough sex. I'm not getting enough loving. I'm not, you're not connecting with me. You're, you're not giving me enough time. You're not giving me enough of your head space, of your heart space. That's... Now that's something where you can't get mad at him and slam him and say, okay, it's over. No, no, no. You, then you have to listen to him and you have to say, oh, well, what am I doing? And you have to be self-reflective and see maybe there's something, there's some way that you can meet his needs uh, in a way that shows self-respect for yourself and uh, um, and have a healthy relationship within the marriage. So what I'm saying is sometimes if a man is cheating or if a woman is cheating, by the way, it's a it's a flashing light. It's a signal at the railroads a line that says a train is coming uh, that says, pay attention. There's something going on here. And just having the feeling is enough for you to know that you have something that you're avoiding. You're avoiding looking at your partner because your partner isn't meeting your needs. And that could be either way. And so what do you do? You have to start with talking if it's a problem in the marriage, you'll have to go in the marriage and talk to the person that's there. And I, I use marriage, but it means any kind of relationship that's a committed relationship. I do think marriage is the ultimate commitment, but but there's a lot of people that are doing committed kinds of relationships without the marriage. And whatever it is, it, within that relationship, if there's problems, if you are not happy, whichever one, whichever partner you are, if you are not happy, that's an issue. Well, other than you're having trouble at work uh, or your mom is sick or something like that. Uh, uh, if it's that kind of angst inside that you just, you know, look to the marriage and you can't just look about it and complain about it and complain about it to this person at work. No, no, that's not the way to deal with it. Talk to your partner. And, you know, if your partner says, well, forget it, I don't care, and all that, well, that's whatever. <laughs> but you have to start talking to the person that you care about the most. And the person, no matter how angry you are at the time, the person you care about the most is the person that you committed to. Start there. And then you decide what goes on. And if you go outside the marriage after that, 
it, it's it's not sneaky. It's uh, you probably should be getting a divorce, <laughs> by the way, because you know. Well, although I take that back, some people have an understanding. Let's stay married. You can go and stray, get your me needs met elsewhere. If that's an understanding, then that's an understanding. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to live together in the world. And I'm not making a judgment on which ways you choose, except to say that it needs to be out in the open and straightforward. That, that I, th I think, is, uh, is my thought my this is my merle's pearls this is my wisdom so if you have any questions if you have any topics you want covered please feel free to direct message me uh do it on facebook or anywhere any of my um instagram facebook they'll be the easiest and let me know what you'd like to hear about this will also uh, be, we'll have it up on YouTube as well. And you can uh, comment on it at that time. Okay, now there are more people coming online as I'm going off. This is uh, Merle's Pearls for the day. What to do if you find him cheating. Oh my goodness. First thing is be kind of reflective on what is what's your responsibility in this relationship and then go on from there i said everything that's important <laughs> for cheating in a marriage so if you've just tuned in go back and listen to the beginning take care everybody see you next week at eight o'clock this is merle m singer the relationship miracle worker find me on relationshipmiracleworker.com have a good evening.